Welcome to our live training session number 17. We're going to be tuning a Honda Civic using AIM Infinity. Let's jump into some details about this vehicle. Now on the engine side of things, it's going to have a GSR bottom end that's been sleeved and fitted with forged pistons and rods. Now the pistons are going to be approximately 12 to 1 compression. On the top end, it has a B16 cylinder head. It's going to have upgraded valve train, port work, GSE T1 cams, along with adjustable cam gears. Now in addition to this, it has an Edelbrock intake manifold and a 70 mil throttle body. Moving on to our turbo kit side of things, as a custom turbo kit using a top mount T3 manifold, a precision 6262 T3 turbo, 3 inch turbo back exhaust, and it's going to have a single tile 44 mil wastegate with approximately a 10 psi wastegate spray installed. Moving on to our fuel system side of things, we have IED 1000 cc as our primary injectors, we have IED 2000 cc's as our secondary injectors. We also find we have dual upgraded in-tank fuel pumps, upgraded lines, and a fuel pressure regulator. So our fuel system is going to be able to make a whole bunch of power. We're going to be taking a look at doing stage injection in this video with the eight injectors. Now in addition to this, we have a whole bunch of additional sensors installed. We have a four bar map sensor, we have an oil pressure sensor, a fuel pressure sensor, coolant pressure sensor, exhaust back pressure. We also have a flat response knock sensor for per cylinder knock control. We have a mode switch installed for our traction control that we're going to be setting up. And we have a three port boost solenoid. So we have a ton of things to configure and set up. On top of this, we're also having a flex fuel sensor. So we're going to be doing our tuning on 93 octane and with ethanol so we can see how that process is going to go. We have a lot to cover. Let's jump into our live training session so we can get started creating our base session to upload to the Infiniti and get our engine started. Welcome to our live training session here with our Honda Civic using our AEM Infiniti. Now we went over the details of this vehicle, it's pretty extensive. So let's jump into our Infiniti now so we can create our base session file and get this engine fired up. So jumping in here to our Infiniti Tuner software, I have my icon open on my desktop, I'll click, double click it, I'll say yes, open my program up here. Give it a second here, it should open up. We'll find the first thing, the most important thing here. We see USB, Infinity Series 5. It's recognizing the Infinity box. We have it plugged in. Now it's running on our 96.3 firmware. This came shipped from AEM with the latest firmware on it, so I don't need to do a firmware upgrade. There is going to be a 96.4 coming out at some point in time. We will be reviewing that in the training course when that happens, but in this case, we don't need to do a firmware upgrade because again, it's recognizing what the uh, firmware is, which is 96.3, and it's recognizing the box here in green. So that's great. We don't have to go in and do any of the firmware flash. What I need to do is pick a layout next. So I'm gonna go in here and use all tabs 710. Now, we have a whole bunch of different layouts that we can choose in our folder here. However, the 710 is typically what I stick with. You're gonna find that it's gonna open up and there might be some things it's not going to display that would be for a 710 box. This is a 508 box, so it's going to have less inputs and outputs. That's okay. We can still go in and use it. Um, we're going to go create a custom layout a little bit later in this training course. So we'll just start with this just to get things going. And then again, we'll go in and make some specific layouts because it's going to make our tuning process much more logical and much quicker, much more effective. So again, we'll be doing that. So let's select our all tab 710 here from our list. Let's say open. We're going to find here it's going to take a second to open it and be patient. And it's going to be telling us that it's not going to recognize these particular channels, and that's because they're probably associated with the 710 box, not for a 508. That's okay. We're just going to click OK right now just so we can get started. So now we have our layout open. Now we need to import our session file for this particular car. Now this is a 508 box, so we're going to have to go in here to our, let's go to File, let's go to Import Calibration Data. We're going to move in here to our base sessions. We're going to go to 96.3 firmware. Again, that's the firmware we find up on our screen here. Now, if you're running a 506, 508 box, you are gonna wanna run 96.3, it's available. If you're on a 708, 710, 712 box, you're gonna find that it has 96.3 firmware. It's gonna be the highest one. So we want to go in and use the firmware that's gonna be associated with our box. When you sign into your Infinity Tuner account, you're going to see what firmware is available for that particular box. Always run the latest firmware that you can. And then when you're importing your base session file, import it with the actual firmware that's going to be associated with that you have on the box. So in this case, I have 96.3. I'm going to go in here to my 506 and 508 boxes. I'm going to go down my list of what I have available in here. So let's take a look. 
we're going to be finding a, a Honda B18B with OEM distributor, 96.3. That's going to be the closest thing to what I have here. Um, this is going to be set up for their plug and play harness, so their patch harness that they sell along with the box. Now this has a custom harness on it, so we're going to have to go in and set all of our inputs and outputs up. That's okay. It just gives us a starting point to, to, to get going, and this is essentially just going to be a base map. So it's not going to be tuned at all for this, but we're going to start with this just so we have something to begin with. So we'll go here to Honda B18, uh, B16B with OEM distributor, click open, and we'll wait till it imports the calibration data. We can see it's going to take a little bit here. We'll just be patient. We'll have to go ahead and imports. 